in the previous videos we talked about if and if combined with and or operators now let's talk about nested if which literally means an if statement inside another if statement they are widely popular and for certain criteria we have no option but to use them we use nested if when we have to test multiple criteria for example if the score of a student is greater than or equal to 90 we should give them a plus rating for the same students people who scored more than 75 but less than 90 we should give them a rating for such scenarios nested if comes in very handy to understand nested if it is vital we understand the execution of nested if formulas and guys i want to reiterate for every tool and technology conditional statements are bread and butter so please pay close attention to this we specify the first condition if score of student a is greater than equals to 90 give them an a plus rating for student a who scored more than 90 the main execution ends here because the criteria was satisfied but if we execute the same formula for student b he scored less than 90 so the formula will move forward to the false part now here instead of writing a grade we will write another if statement because if we write a here it will allocate a to everyone even to people who should have received d so we will write another if statement which will check if the score of the student is greater than 75 if that is the case assign them a grade for student b who scored 77 the main execution ends here he failed the first test criteria but he passed this one again if we assign b to the remaining student e will also get b when he actually got d grade so we will write another if statement to check if the score is greater than 60 then we will assign b grade and if the score is greater than 40 then c grade will be assigned for everything else which will be scores below 40 we will assign d grade now we need to close all the brackets that we had opened whenever we close a bracket excel highlights which bracket is getting closed to cement our understanding let's evaluate this formula for all of our students for student a the first condition is satisfied notice it does not even check the remaining conditions the first condition is satisfied so it gives the result then and there without checking the rest of them similarly for student b the first condition is false so it evaluates the second condition since that condition is true it does not go to the next condition and completes the execution there by assigning a for student c it has to evaluate three criteria the first two are false but the third one is true which is why it does not evaluate the fourth one which is greater than 40 for student d it has to evaluate all four criteria the fourth one is true so it returns the grade c for student e all the criteria are false so it returns the default value which is d grade and for the final one f it again fulfills the first criteria itself so it does not have to check the other ones when you practice nested if make sure you evaluate your formulas like this it will increase your understanding for the second scenario we are a tour guide who suggest places to see when you are in a city if you are in delhi you should see old fort in agra you should see taj mahal in mumbai you should see gateway of india in jaipur you should see amer fort and if you select a city that is other than these listed cities the excel should suggest the person to visit the beaches 
which I absolutely love. So again, let's write a nested if statement here. If city is Delhi, visit Old Fort. If city is not Delhi, move forward and check if city is Agra. If it is, then visit Taj Mahal. But if this city is not even Agra, then move ahead and check if city is Mumbai. If it is, then visit Gateway of India. But if it is not even Mumbai, then check if it is Jaipur. If it is, then visit Amir Fort. It's a beautiful place. But if it is not even Jaipur, then suggest the users to visit the beach because they are lovely. Try to evaluate this formula with different values and do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions.